Even this universe functions under a fixed law. Quick example, people say evolution is the mother of all. People who try to negate Allah, and they say that we all came from an evolutionary system. Everything is evolving. We don't deny evolution. Islam does not reject evolution. Islam simply rejects the evolution of mankind, you and me as Bani Adam. They could have been humans who look like us, they could have evolved. But certainly not you and I. Quran clearly states we were placed on this earth. In the plan of Allah, things can evolve, and Allah also instantaneously can place a creature on this earth without the evolutionary principle. But if people say, well, everything observable is evolutionary in principle, many a times people fall, don't know how to answer that. The best answer you can give them is it's not true. Evolution does occur. It is part of our mechanical system, but there are things that do not evolve. So they may say, what is it? You will see that at the Big Bang moment, which is Planck's moment, you will see that the laws of constant instantly establish themselves. Meaning as soon as the bang started, we call that Planck's moment, when the Big Bang started, you would think that things should have evolved. No. Scientists recognize that at Planck's moment, instantaneously fixed what we call uh, uh, laws of constants instantaneously established, which allowed for things to happen. Because you can't have an explosion, you can't have a bang, you cannot have expansion, contraction, anything if the system it does not allow it. And that system cannot evolve. So Allah says, ثُمَّ اسْتَوَى عَلَى الْعَارِشِ It instantaneously by divine fiat as we call it, it was instantly established and it took movement. And Allah says, observe it, you will see that the command of Allah has been instantly established. ثُمَّ اسْتَوَى عَلَى الْعَارِشِ Allahu Akbar. How beautiful. It defies all logic if someone was to say that everything evolved when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is establishing that yes, evolution does take place, but it is a subsystem of a greater system. When you and I understand this through understanding science, through understanding processes, we begin to understand when the Quran is talking to me, it's talking to me real. It's just not telling me stories. Allah is telling me the essence. So, if you and I were to understand that everything in the Qur'an is actually derived from principal laws, those principal laws are immutable laws, the laws of Allah, 